So you want a fresh start on one of your Steam games. Maybe you messed up a run. Maybe you just want to relive the beginning. Or maybe your save files are a complete disaster. Either way, Steam doesn't exactly put a shiny red reset button in front of you. But the reset option is there. You just have to know where to look. And that's what you're about to learn. Here's the thing about Steam. It tries really hard to protect your progress. That's why most games automatically back up saves to the cloud. Sounds great, until you decide you want to delete everything. If you don't do this correctly, Steam will happily download the old saves right back onto your computer. So step one is cutting that connection. Head up to the top left corner of Steam and open Settings. On the left sidebar, click Cloud. You'll see an option called Enable Steam Cloud Synchronization. Turn it off. That switch tells Steam to stop uploading or downloading saves for your account. Now you can delete files without them magically reappearing. With the cloud paused, it's time to actually find your saves. The easiest way is right inside your Steam library. Right-click on the game you want to reset, hover over Manage, then choose Browse Local Files. A folder opens, showing the game's guts. Look around for a folder labeled Save, Saves, or something obvious. If you see it, perfect. Go inside and delete those files. That's your progress gone. The next time you launch the game, it'll think you're brand new. But what if there's no save folder? Some developers like to hide things in less obvious places. That's when you'll need a slightly different method. Don't worry, it's not complicated. Go to the Steam website in your browser. Search for the game in the store and click on its page. Now check the URL at the top. You'll see a long address, but the important part is the number in there. That number is the game's app ID, basically Steam's internal code for the game. Copy it or just keep it in mind. Next, open File Explorer and navigate to the drive where Steam is installed. Usually, that's under Program Files x86 and then look at a Steam folder. From here, scroll down and open User Data folder. Inside, you'll see one or more folders with long numbers as names. Each one represents a Steam account that is logged in on your computer. Open the one that belongs to your account. Inside, you'll find subfolders named after app IDs. Remember that number you got from the website? Look for a folder with that number. Open it up and you should see your save data sitting there. Delete the files inside and just like that, you've reset the game. At this point, you've handled both local saves and the cloud. If you want Steam Cloud back on for other games, just head back into settings and re-enable it. Steam won't restore the deleted saves unless you manually tell it to. So why is this process a little roundabout? Because Steam assumes you never want to lose progress. For 99% of players, that's the right call. But for the 1%, people like you who want a clean slate, you just have to outsmart the system. By shutting off the cloud first and then manually hunting down the saves, you make sure nothing lingers. Now, the next time you boot up your game, you'll see it exactly as if you just installed it for the first time. No old characters, no messy files, no reminders of past mistakes, just a completely fresh start. And from here, you're in control. You can reset as often as you like, or keep things clean forever. So the next time someone tells you there's no way to wipe progress on Steam, you'll know better. You'll know exactly where the saves live, how to shut down the cloud, and how to take back control. And honestly, that's pretty satisfying.